Hello, my name is George, and I'll be your guide for this evening's meditation. This meditation is simply one type. There are many, many varied ways to meditate. My guidance is intended to help you relax and to take you to that quiet spot where you can listen. The meditation is self-explanatory, and all you really need to do is follow its suggestions. Here are a few of the many benefits that you can expect from daily meditation. You'll find your thought life will be on a much higher plane. What used to be the hunch or occasional inspiration will gradually become a working part of your mind. Your thinking will become clearer and you will find yourself more and more on the plane of intuition and inspiration. The kind of intuition and inspiration upon which you can truly rely. Often intuition and inspiration bring us knowledge of God's will for us. You will begin to be kinder, gentler, and find that love and tolerance of others comes more easily. Meditation will help you contact and move into your higher self. Benefiting from this meditation asks only that you surrender for the next few minutes and allow yourself to move into a deeper part of your being. Once in that deeper space, surrender to God as you understand God and allow this meditation to happen within God's will for you. If you know the St. Francis prayer, pray along with me. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith, that where there is despair, I may bring hope, that where there are shadows, I may bring light, that where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiving that one is forgiven, it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Amen. Our meditation was designed to lead you into an exceptionally deep meditative state. The more you follow the suggestions, the deeper your meditation will be. We will move within to a point of deep mental tranquility and physical relaxation. There is no hurry, so just simply relax. Close your eyes and get comfortable. Retain the feeling evoked by our prayer and take it with you into meditation as you listen for God's direction. It's okay to sit or lay in any position that helps you with your meditation. If you feel discomfort during the meditation, Feel free to correct your body's position. Any sounds you hear, such as pets, neighbors, traffic, simply incorporate these sounds into your meditation. It's a good idea to follow your breath, and because you are seeking conscious contact with your higher power, you may want to thank God on each in-breath and thank God on each out-breath, thereby establishing a flow of God's love and positive energies. Stretching the word God for the full length of your breath can make this even more effective. Another focusing tool is to place your attention on a spot directly behind your belly button, and as you do, notice that your thinking slows immediately. No matter what method of focus you use, the struggle between focusing and allowing your brain to think random thoughts is critical. It is in this struggle that light finds its way into your being. It is a way to enlightenment. It also trains the brain and exercises your ability to focus, thereby increasing your capacity to concentrate. It's like lifting mental weights. Remember, the struggle to follow your breathing and thank God is equally as important as stilling your mind. Thoughts may come and go, and I suggest that when you find your mind caught up in thinking, be gentle with yourself by simply bringing your focus back to your breathing and thanking God. Don't be tricked by your mind if it tells you you're not having a good meditation. There's no such thing as a bad meditation. God recognizes your willingness simply by the fact that you're meditating. The third step tells us that all we need is willingness and the door will open. Everything that happens in meditation is perfect and spiritually usable. God can work miracles in a split second. Know that you're safe here right now free to begin letting all negative thoughts and energy of the day go. There's nothing you can do to solve any of your problems in this moment, so why not just let go and let God? 
We'll now do a constructive review of your day. Answer these questions from your heart and not your head. Let the words resonate deep within. Should you find something that needs amending, simply ask God what corrective measures you should take. Be careful not to drift into worry, remorse, or morbid self-reflections. All you need to do in this moment is be willing to take corrective actions. Ask yourself, was I resentful, selfish, dishonest, or afraid? Do I owe an apology? Have I kept something to myself which should be discussed with another person at once? Have I been kind and loving toward all? What could I have done better? Was I thinking of myself most of the time, or was I thinking of what I could do for others, of what I could pack into the stream of life? If you found something that needs attending, take a moment, ask God's forgiveness, and then be ready to let it all go for right now. So if you're willing to let the day go, let's just let it all go right here, right now. Remember, you're safe in this moment, so let's get physically relaxed. You needn't worry about the time. I will bring you back from the soothing tranquility of your inner world to an improved conscious contact with your higher power. You will return feeling more serene, contented, healthier, and happier. Continue focusing on your breathing, listening to the sound of your breath, thinking God in and God out. Allow your body to sink deeper into your chair as we move down to a tranquil and peaceful place. Once there, focus on the back of your eyelids. You may see a white light. Do not try to control what you see in any way. Simply look into the light as though you are watching a movie. If images come, do not try to analyze or judge them. Simply remain the observer. Your judgments will cause them to vanish. At this point, you will be seeing with your spiritual eyes. It's not necessary to see anything to have a successful meditation. If by chance you do not see a white light, try allowing your head to drop about 10 degrees while continuing to look straight forward at the back of your eyelids. Thinking God in and God out while watching the backs of your eyelids will make it almost impossible to think anything else. When we have reached a deeply relaxed state, we will sit quietly for about 15 minutes. During this time, you will be completely available to your higher power, and you will begin to experience the healing power of silence. We're at the top of a set of 12 spaces or levels that do exist deep within your psyche. Allow your feelings, and not your brain, to communicate the peaceful tranquility of your meditation space. The deeper we go, 
the more relaxed you will become. As we descend, allow all negative energy to flow down your body and eventually out of the ends of your fingers and toes. Begin by relaxing your scalp. Let the furrows in your brow go. Let the negative energy holding them stream down your face. Permit the tenseness around your eyes to decrease as you begin to move deeper and deeper. Relax and go deeper. Here at level 11, let any negative energy in your jaws, your mouth, your tongue and throat go. Relax, go deeper. Slip down deeper and deeper, dropping to level 10. Focus on loosening up your neck, especially the area around the base of your skull. Let this harmful energy go. Let it stream down your body. Relax, go deeper. You may begin to feel a protective and secure warmth as you sink deeper. As we reach level nine, allow that warmth and protection to surround you. Relax, go deeper. Continue moving deeper now to level eight, focusing on your breathing. As you slide slowly downward, let all negativity in your upper shoulders go. Relax, go deeper. Release the tension in your outer shoulders, arms, your elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. Let all tensions tumble downward. Wiggle your fingers while noticing that it feels good to let that negative energy flow right out the ends of them. Allow your body rhythms to decrease, to slow, and as you do, Recognize that your heartbeat is also slowing. Notice that your body is beginning to unwind from tenseness, anxiety, and negativity as we reach level seven. Relax, go deeper. Let any tensions in your chest and back flow down your body, let it go. Feel your chest and back relaxing, opening to genuine surrender as you arrive at level six. Relax, go deeper. Be gentle as you continue focusing on your breathing. Let any tension in your waist, hips, belly, move down your legs, let go. Relax, move deeper and deeper, deeper than before. Let go even more as we arrive at level five. Relax, go deeper. Negative energy in your thighs, knees, shins, and lower legs runs downward, hurrying to leave your body. Negativity no longer feels welcome. You're calm and peaceful as you slide into level four. Relax, go deeper. Sink deeper, deeper, and deeper into the quiet and pleasant silence. As we reach level three, why not surrender yourself completely to God? Release all physical and mental negativity right here. Let negative energy shoot right out of the ends of your toes. Relax, go deeper. Still sinking, deeper, deeper, and as you do, you may feel strangely heavier and yet somehow lighter at the same time. Here at level two, you've progressed to a place of deep calm. Relax, go deeper.
Let go completely as you float safely to level one and into its depth of tremendous tranquility. Here in deep inner silence there's only serenity, no tensions, no negativity, and no fear. Only feelings of safety, kindness, and love remain. Drop any preconceived ideas of what you might see or experience. Allow yourself to know the presence of your higher power. Permit your mind to be completely still. Simply be a witness, seeing only with your spiritual eyes. We'll remain here for about 15 minutes. Then I will guide you back up these 12 levels one level at a time. I will come as gently back into your consciousness as I am able and will guide you back up these levels. We'll remain here for about 15 minutes. Then I will come as gently back into your consciousness as I am able and guide you back up these 12 levels one at a time. For now, let go, let go, and drift deeper into silence, stillness, and love. Feel yourself drifting deeper, 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 and deeper.
It has been peaceful here. This tranquil time has allowed God to come in and to work with you. There's been a quiet communication. You may not feel that communication, but some part of your being knows that it's true. There has been a communication. Bring your attention into your heart. Take a few moments to allow all resentments and regrets to come forward. Think of any person or institution you may be holding a grudge or a resentment against, any regret you may be clinging to, and visualize him, or her, or it in your mind's eye. Resentments and regrets steal your energy. They will steal your very life. It takes a great deal of energy to maintain resentments and regrets. This energy drain continues even when the regret or resentment is not at the surface of your mind and you're completely unaware of it. You can choose to continue giving your energy to your resentments and regrets, or you can determine to take a higher path. You can decide to take your power back. You can choose forgiveness. And when you choose forgiveness, you choose freedom. You will no longer be unknowingly victimized by your own feelings and emotions. Now let's practice forgiveness, recognizing that everyone is doing their best from their state of consciousness. Have the intention to forgive others and yourself for any trespasses that may have resulted in pain. Know that forgiveness is absolutely in your best interest. Keep your awareness in your heart while you let go of all resentments and regrets. Consider the following statement to help you remove toxic emotions from your heart. Every decision I make is a choice between positive and negative, a choice between love and fear. I surrender all grievances, regrets, and resentments and choose love. Now experience gratitude in your heart by considering all the things in your life for which you are grateful. Think about the people you love and the people who love you. Spend a few minutes appreciating the gifts in your life for which you are thankful. We are now going to move back up these 12 levels to a place of higher consciousness and awareness. We'll begin our voyage back to level 12 by moving up these 12 levels one level at a time. Once we've returned, be sure to retain your peaceful state of serenity. There's no rush to go anywhere. Coming up slowly now, slowly to level two. Level three, feeling refreshed. Level four, gently, slowly moving upward. Level five, feel the positive energy moving in your body. Level six, the positive energy you're feeling comes from your connection with God, so savor it. Level seven, you're looking forward to being back fully aware in the present moment. Level eight, continue moving upward. Level nine, feeling calm. Level 10, feeling serenity. Level 11, bring your focus back into the room. Pause here at level 12 for a moment and be aware that all negative energy and tensions have left your body. You may have an intuitive feeling that life has taken on a stronger meaning, more purpose, and will progressively get better. You're becoming aware that negativity, anxiety, edginess, and tenseness are choices you need not make. Why not choose instead to meet the trials of your daily life with calm serenity? Thank you for meditating and praying with me. If you have the ability to copy this CD, please do so and give it to as many people as would like to try it. The more people that meditate, the better our world will become. The more people that meditate, the closer to a warless world will become. The more we meditate, the more we cease fighting everyone and everything. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day.